Only two weeks ago, President Biden addressed the nation from the Oval Office to discuss the importance of helping Ukraine and Israel. Biden drew comparisons between the two conflicts and said the nation's response to both conflicts needs to be unified. Members of the Biden cabinet, cabinet made that argument to lawmakers today. And Erie News Now Washington, D.C. correspondent Brendan Scanlon is live to break it down. Good evening, Brendan. Hey there, Mike. Good evening. That's right. In today's Senate Appropriations Committee hearing, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin reiterated a similar message uh, as the president did about two weeks ago. And they also really stressed the importance of aiding two very what they call intertwined conflicts. In both Israel and Ukraine, democracies are fighting ruthless foes who are out to annihilate them. Today, Biden administration officials appeared in front of the Senate Appropriations Committee to make the case for the president's $105 billion supplemental budget request. The hearing comes at a time when tensions and conflicts are escalating between Israel and Hamas, with civilians in the crossfire. And around the world. Protesters interrupted the hearing at times calling for a ceasefire and cutting support to Israel. In the request, over $14 billion would aid Israel and roughly $61 billion would aid Ukraine in their fight against Vladimir Putin. Secretary Antony Blinken emphasized the need for a unified response with one combined aid package. We see these things as being very much joined, which is one of the reasons our request is a joint request. Some Senate Republicans agree that the funding should be tied together. The threats facing America and our allies are serious and they're intertwined. Other Republicans want to see Israel aid separate, as well as major enhancements at the southern border. Let's get them the aid they need, and then we can debate Ukraine. I know colleagues want to debate the border. Some want to debate Taiwan. So that's great, but let, let's do Israel first. Border security is national security. The request also includes over $9 billion for humanitarian assistance in Gaza, Ukraine, and Israel. And this afternoon, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer criticized the House GOP aid proposal. House Republicans want to actually cut funding from the IRS and use those dollars to provide Israel's aid. And they also want to keep it separate from Ukraine aid and others. We'll be hearing from House Republicans tomorrow to really see if there is a bipartisan path forward here. And if so, how quickly it can be accomplished. For now, reporting live on Capitol Hill for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland. Mike, back to you.